Okay, in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to shuffle the deck. And there's a pretty standard way to shuffle an array. If you have an array of elements, uh, it, you could look up on the internet, you know, just Google uh, Java shuffle array, and you're going to find some really simple uh, solutions for swapping out elements in an array. Take position one and nine and swap them, and then take positions three and seven and swap them. So, um, when, you know, when you're shuffling, you're basically taking an element at one position and taking an element at another position, and you're swapping them out, okay, randomly. And so that's what we're going to do. Here I am inside of main activity fragment, all right, and I have um, a, created a method here. So here's where my on create view is, okay. And so I'm creating a new method. This is a good spot for it, and it's going to have a return type of card, all right, and. You know, I almost think this card should be called deck because that's what it is. Or I should call it card deck. That's what I should call it. And that's what I am going to call it, you know? But then I'd have to change everything. I'd have to change the class name and everything. All right, so we'll think of card as being card deck because it's an array of cards, you know, it's a card deck. All right, so anyway, uh, it's going to return the card array that we have. And I'm calling this shuffle deck. And it's accepting an argument, which is a deck of cards, right? And you can see here, I'm saying, okay, I'm going to set my new card deck equal to the shuffle deck, and then I'm passing in the original deck. So the original deck uh, here has 52 cards in order, and we're going to pass that in to our shuffle deck method. Okay? Um, now, what I'm doing is I've got a random. Okay, I'm creating a new random. Told you that would come in handy. And I've created a new card, and I've called it temp card. Okay, it's a temporary card. It just holds a value for us, so that we can uh, we have a place where we can place a card while we swap another card in. All right, so it's a place we can copy a card to. And I've just created a new card, and I said, okay, give it rank zero zero. It's fine. It's a temporary card for now. It'll hold all kinds of values. All right, and then I'm going to loop through my deck. Int shuffle count equals zero. Shuffle count is less than fifty two. Shuffle count plus plus. All right, so now I'm looping through my deck of fifty two cards. And I've got a handy text document here that's going to help us track this. I really would love it if you understood this. Uh, this is a tough one. All right. Um, and so, okay, so the first time through the loop, zero, first count, uh, we're going to say random card equals random.nextint52. So let's say we pick the number 10. All right, so random.nextint is now random card now equals the number 10 the first time through. Okay. We're going to set temp card equal to deck random card, which is the card at position 10. All right, so the card in our deck at position 10 that we just selected, we're going to set temp card equal to that. And it would have a suit of 0 and a rank of 9, right? Um, that would be the card at position 10. OK. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to take the deck at random card, which is 10, the deck at position 10, and we're going to put in its place the deck at shuffle count. Now shuffle count is at zero. All right, so now the deck at position 10 will contain the card that is in position zero. So position 10 now would contain rank suit zero, rank zero, because that would be the first card in our deck has now been moved to the 10th spot, okay? And now we're gonna say the deck at position zero, all right, is going to take the card that was at 10 but we loaded in the temp card. Essentially what we did was we just swapped cards 0 and 10. All right? So the card that was at 0 is now at 10 and the card that was at 10 is now at 0. All right? And it does that 52 times. Randomly picking numbers, randomly shuffling the deck. All right? So, um, take a look at that and you're going to return the deck then to the caller. And so we are going to shuffle, we're going to pass in our deck, we're going to swap out cards 52 times. All right, and then we're going to return that shuffled array. And now our card deck is going to have cards that are shuffled. Okay, and so I'm going to run this now. All right, and everything should be in place for it. All right, 
And so this button now just shows the card in the first position, second position, third position, just like it did last time. The card in the first position has suit one, rank four. So that would be uh, the, what, uh, zero, one, two, the three of diamonds, okay? Uh, card, the first card has suit one, rank 11, okay? And you can see that as I click through this, the entire deck now has been shuffled, and every card in each position has a random suit and rank. Okay? Great. Um, so, if you have that, you're in good shape, and uh, it's time to move on to the next video. That's a tough one, shuffling an array. Good luck.